Colour blindness is much more common than people often realise. One in 12 men, for example, one of whom is me, suffer from some form of colour vision deficiency, as do one in 200 women. What colour blindness amounts to is often an inability to distinguish between different shades of green and of red. When watching a sports match, when the teams have green and red jerseys on, it can be very difficult for a spectator to distinguish between the two teams. However, many of the problems caused by colour blindness are very easy to accommodate. For example, if the two teams playing against each other in red and green jerseys wear different coloured shorts, then people like me have no problem following the match. There are some examples of successful sports people with a form of colour blindness. Thomas Delaney, the Danish footballer, for example, has a form of red-green colour blindness. And yet, statistically, we would expect there to be one colourblind person on every sports team, especially amongst men, because of the prevalence of the disorder amongst the population. So what this suggests is that many children are missing out on the opportunity to pursue sports because they're selected out of the sport at an early stage because of some form of colour vision deficiency. And that means we could be missing out on great talent. But since colour blindness is so easy to detect at an early stage, that's all the more reason why we should make attempts to diagnose it and accommodate it both amongst sports players and sports supporters.